Part 1. Geometrical Terms and Angle Properties. You will find this on page 165 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. First we are just going to do a revision of Grade 8. Geometrical term. What is a point? A position on a plane. There's the point. What is a line? It's a set of points, infinite set of points. So a lot of points is forming a line. What is parallel lines? Lines which are equal distance all along their length. So that distance between them stays the same. And there's no point common. So they're never going to intersect. Perpendicular lines. Two lines intersecting at right angles. So if they intersect and there's forming a 90 degree angle, then it's a perpendicular line. Angles at a point. Angles. An angle is formed when a line rotates about a fixed point. So a rotation, uh, either positive or negative. A right angle, a 90 degree angle. So that is a right angle, that is a right angle. A straight angle, exactly 180 degrees at a point. So exactly a straight line will be 180 degrees at that point. R what is a revolution? A revolution is the distance around a point. Okay, so the angle around a point, that is a revolution. What is an acute angle? If you look here, if the angle is between 0 and 90, for example that, that's an acute angle. What's an obtuse angle? It's an angle between 90 and 180. Can you see? So bigger than 90. So between 90 and 180, any place in between, that's an obtuse angle. What's a reflex angle? A reflex angle is an angle between 180 and 360. So this angle will be a reflex angle. Okay. Vertical opposite angles. This is vertical opposite. Where two lines cross, the angle across from each other are equal. So this is vertical opposite angles. Okay, let's just move up a little bit. Adjacent angles. Now angles next to each other with a common vertex and a common arm. So if you look, this is the common arm, okay? And the common vertex, this is this, this is the common vertex. So this angle and this angle will be adjacent angles. Okay, what is complementary angles? Angles that add up to 90 degrees. So this angle plus this angle, they will be complementary. This angle plus this angle will be 90, so that this is complementary angles. Adjacent complementary angles is next to each other. What is supplementary angles? Angles that add up to 180. So this angle plus this angle will be 180, so adjacent supplementary angles next to each other. Okay, let's look at an example. Find the angles marked with letters. The lines A, B, and C, D are straight. Okay. So here A, B, and C, D are straight lines. So first that one. I know that that one is 90. So let's form an equation. A plus 25 will be 90. So A is 90 minus 25, which will be equal to 60 degrees. Okay. So B plus 80 plus 40, that will be equal to 180. So B will be equal to 180 minus that 120, and that will be equal to 60. It's always good to write the reason there. So just in brackets. It's not necessary, but it's just good practice. So the next one, this is vertical opposite. So D will be 50 because it's vertical opposite angles. What will angle C be? This is a straight line, so it will be C plus 50 will be 180. So C will be 180 minus 50, which will be 130 degrees. Okay. I want you to do the following. I want you to try now one. I want you to do number A as well as number B as well as number D. 
you can stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Try now one. Let's start with number A. Now, if you look at this one, you will see that this is a 90 degree angle, a right angle. So basically, I'm just going to say A plus 55, and that will be equal to 90. So this is the equation. So what will I do to solve this equation? So A will be 90 minus 55. Now, why is it minus 55? Because to cancel this one, I subtract 55 on both sides. Because the equation, whatever I do on one side, I will do on the other side. And then this will cancel, and I will just end up with 90 minus 55. And then I will find 35 degrees will be my answer. Okay. Let's look at number B. Now, my number B is a straight line. Can you see that? So, I can start with the equation by saying B plus 15 plus 30 will be equal to 180. And the reason, and I'm just going to write it in another color, so it's adjacent angles on a straight line. So, if I look at this one, I'm going to say B. Now, remember to cancel this positive 15 and positive 30. I will subtract it. And then I will subtract it on both sides. So, I will just have 15 minus that um, 30. And if I press that on my calculator, I'm just going to get, okay, let's just see, this, this is just going to give me an answer of 1, 3, okay, this is 45, so 135 degrees, okay. I just want to check something, IT minus 15 minus 30, and it's 135 degrees, okay. Then uh, the next one, number D. Let's just do number D. Now, number D, if I move it up a little bit, you will see that this is a revolution. So basically, to do that one, I will just say, and now let's just start. We're going to say E plus the 160 plus 60 plus 40. Okay, let's just rewrite that one. Plus the 40, it's going to be equal to 360. And what is going to be my reason? It's angles at a point. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to say E is equal to... 360 minus 160 minus 60 minus 40. Okay, remember that 60. Okay. And then if I subtract all of it, I'm going to find that the value of E is equal to 100 degrees. And that's my final answer.